Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. I wanted to share some things today with you that I believe are going to encourage you. And I wanna start off with a dream I was given that I believe is showing us that the Father wants to take us higher. And I believe he's given me some revelation over the past week on how he's going to do that. All right, so in this dream I had two weeks ago maybe, I was in an airplane, a big airplane, okay? And there were um, a lot of people in the airplane, but it wasn't full to capacity. And there was a man on my left, and, and as I did the research later, I'll tell you, that would be the captain, okay? And I would have been the first officer. And so the captain is Jesus, and he was explaining to me what I needed to say and everything I needed to say and do. I had no idea what to say. I had no idea what to do. But he was right there waiting for me to listen, and then he would tell me what I would need to say and what I would need to do because I was going to fly this plane. And in reality, of course, it was he who would be leading it. And so I understood that dream to mean that the Lord is, is getting ready to take us higher, all right? This airplane is taking us to a place, a level that is above where we are at right now, a higher place in the spirit realm. And it wasn't packed, all right? There was a lot of people there, but it wasn't filled to capacity. So some people may be able to receive this and some people may not. But for those of you who the Lord is already calling, this is just gonna be a confirmation to you. So the next thing was last weekend, I was watching a video by Bruce Allen and it was a teaching, uh, he was on Deep Believer, and the title of the video is People Will Start Teleporting to Safety. All right, so I found that interesting, so I was listening to the video, and it's much more than that. The video, I'm going to provide a link in the description box to the, the video, and I encourage you to listen to the whole thing. Uh, what Bruce has been taught by the Lord himself is how to operate in a level of the Holy Spirit, in a level of Christ, that many of us have not touched upon. And some of us may be a little bit. I feel like I've experienced a couple things I'll share later, but uh, I believe this is something that the Lord is calling us to really get a hold of because as the evil increases on this earth, and we can see that happening, uh, we as the body of Christ are going to have to walk in a level of authority and a level of power that we have never operated in. And this is what I believe uh, Bruce is teaching, right? He's teaching who we really are in Christ, okay? That we are light and that that light is very powerful and that we all as believers, born again believers, have the same opportunity to walk in these higher levels of power and authority in the spirit. Whereas many of us may have been taught, well, you have to be a seer to see into the spirit realm or you have to have this gifting or that gifting. Okay, what I want to share with you that the Lord showed me is it's very clear that based on our faith, okay, we can definitely walk in these higher levels. All right, so after I listened to that video, I went to sleep, and the next morning I woke up, and of course I'm immediately thinking about the things Bruce Allen was talking about, and I said, Father, is there anything in Bruce Allen's teaching that you would like me to focus on? And as I lay there, nothing came to mind, but I started to remember that I had had a dream, but I didn't remember the dream. So I said, well, well, Father, if this dream was from you, then I'll remember. Within about 30 seconds, it came flooding back to me. And so this was the dream. I and maybe five or six other people were standing in this parking lot in front of a small Amish type store, general store that sold groceries, food, th that kind of thing. Well, when we got there, we realized that the lights were out and the store was closed. So we were all just standing there. And then suddenly the store owner comes into the parking lot, pushing this great big cart, just packed full of meats and cheeses and different things. So we all stood there waiting and expecting the store owner to open the store, go in, turn the lights on, and we would do business as usual. But that's not what happened. The store owner just stood there and we all stood around not knowing what to do next. And that was the end of the dream. So as I laid there pondering that dream, the Holy Spirit began to give me the, the interpretation. But before I got the full interpretation, I heard in my spirit, the Lord says he wants believers. 
The Lord says he wants believers. And I knew that meant he wants believers who don't just believe for salvation, but believe the entirety of his word. Jesus is looking for people who believe everything he taught, everything in his word. And so then the Holy Spirit pours the whole interpretation into my spirit. And this is what the dream means. So in a dream, when you see a story, it means you can go in and buy, pay a price. You can pay a price for something and you can have that. So like Catherine Coleman would teach that she had this anointing in her life because she paid the price for it. Or you might have a mantle because you paid the price. You took the time you needed to take. All right, but that way of doing kingdom business, the Holy Spirit showed me, is closed. And now the Holy Spirit is meeting us where we are at, meeting God's people where we are at. Now, we all stood there looking at this cart of food, spiritual sustenance, the meats, the cheeses, revelation, truth, understanding. And we didn't know what to do. But the Holy Spirit showed me it is by faith alone that we can take and receive all of this, okay? By faith alone. Jesus, the Lord says he wants believers. Okay, so we have to go to the word of God. And as I was talking to the Lord this morning about all this, you know, I'm like, Lord, is can any of us really walk in this level? Can Is it true? Can we, can any of us, just anybody begin to see into that supernatural realm at some point or teleport or, uh, and then the Holy Spirit reminds me of Mark 9, 23. And in that scripture, there was a man whose son had been demon possessed and he took the, the son to the disciples, but they couldn't cast it out. So they took the son, he took his son to Jesus and said, if you can, well, Jesus responds and says, if you can believe all things are possible to him who believes. All things are possible to him who believes. Mark 9, 23. So right there, church, we have the foundational principle that Jesus himself said, if you believe all things, that's anything. That's We can operate in any spiritual gift in any level of the spirit based on our faith based on what we will believe. And in Bruce's teaching, he basically says that it's all up here. You know, am I going to believe? Am I not going to believe? Am I going to believe? Am I not going to believe? And he talks about uh, taking the time to focus on the Lord with intent and expectation. And some might define that as pressing in, in your prayer life. But the point being, he talks about using your imagination, which your imagination is a part of the spirit realm. And if we just focus on Jesus, picturing him in that chair, talking to him, all right, and, and asking him questions, the main thing is we are going to learn and train ourselves to hear his voice, which is critical, and we are going to be spending time with him. And then that activation, trust that that will come at, at the time it's intended to, but I encourage you to do this not for an activation of of a higher level of power that you can boast to people about, but because it's going to draw you closer to the Lord. It's going to draw you into his perfect will and plan for your life and empower you to carry it out in these dark times that we're in. A level of power that I believe we're all going to need to operate in. And when it comes to travel, we don't know that that's going to become very limited in the future. And if we can walk in this level of power in the Holy Spirit, there's nothing that can keep us from going here and there and ministering without a plane ticket. Okay, doing it in the spirit as, as Bruce is teaching. And I actually felt led to share a couple instances that this has, I believe, happened to me. Uh, and one of those instances was after 9-11. And now this happened when I was asleep. So I believed it was a dream. But after listening to Bruce's teaching, I really believe this happened. So I was in New York at Ground Zero and there was... There was a, a tent up where the, the workers were going in under this tent to take breaks. And I remember crossing the street and I went in under the tent and I spent some time with with these workers, one or two of them, I don't remember, but it was, I knew I ministered to them in some way. And I don't know what I said to them, but I believe that the Holy Spirit ministered to them through me. And then 
I, I just had like a knowing that if they had ever seen me, that they would recognize me. But as it stands, they probably just believe, well, she was an angelic visitor, that kind of thing. Not that I'm saying I'm an angel, but just that that's probably what they thought. I can remember John Paul Jackson teaching about this very thing. There was a man in Africa who he was poor, but he loved the Lord. He really, really wanted to minister and to, to God's people. And John Paul was in a hotel room. He was very, very sick. And this man was teleported to the hotel room that John Paul was in, prayed for, ministered to John Paul. John Paul was healed and then went back. Okay, these are things that I believe are going to become more and more common in the body of Christ. And I want so much for all of us to be a part of this together, church. And listen, if you've had an experience like this, please share that in the comment section. Uh, sharing these kinds of things will help other members of the body of Christ to build their faith. And I am planning to do, spend more time in, in um, this time with the Lord, just, you know, with intent and expectation. And I'll share the things that the Holy Spirit shows me, gives me. Uh, but I, I just, I want all of us to come to this higher place together, church, and to be blessed and uh, effective in, in the kingdom. I believe our time here is so limited. It's so short. And I plan on doing a, a video not too long, in maybe three, four weeks. I've got to get it all put together. But on what, what I believe the Father has shown me, the Holy Spirit has shown me concerning uh, the time that we have left. And it's critical, though. Right now, we are in, in such a critical time. So please take all this to the Lord in prayer. Pray about this. Ask him to give you a confirmation if this is from him. And take time to listen to that video by Bruce Allen. And share, like I said, uh, in, the, just in the comments section, if the, if the Lord has taken you in any kind of teleporting or, or you have had some supernatural experience with the Lord, share that. It will encourage the other members of the body of Christ. All right. And as always, church, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.